I started having attractions towards girls at third grade. I can take care of a girl better than these guys can. I used to walk around with a strap on and rub up against girls on purpose just to make them think that I was a man. I was with a different guy every day. I was obsessed. My world revolved around her. And I figured this is what, you know, this is what love is. And it was in this season of my life that I found out that I became HIV positive. I would have called myself by curious. I had this thing where I was calling myself an androgynous. One thing about not knowing your identity, you just do what you want to do and you say, well, I guess this is me. And that's where the bisexuality came into play. There is a path that is before each person that seems right. Everything that I had been choosing seemed right. It felt right. Regardless of the feelings, it was still destroying and dividing my family. It made you think that people in the homosexual lifestyle or the LGBTQI community are full of happy people. And it sounded like it was, this is the life to live. I was living it, I was promoting this life of Scarlet, and, and the depression really just came in more. I continued deeper into this place where I was broken. Not really caring at that point, honestly, about anything or anyone. I hated anyone I talked to, pretty much. Is this you, guy? If you're gonna hate me for being who I am, I'm done with you. I went to sleep that night, and I had a dream that I was in hell, but it scared me to my core. And I remember saying this prayer, I said, God, Jesus, whoever, if you're real, please show me. She told her pastor that my grandson, he's really far out into life, he has a purse and I'm embarrassed. And her pastor's like, don't be embarrassed, let him come. And I mean, I walked in the church reeking of vodka. Here I have my girlfriend sitting next to me. I was so amazed at men and women in the body of Christ love me. I thought that they were going to hate me because all my gay friends told me that Christians hate gay people. That is a lie. That is not true. All of a sudden, I just felt like the presence of God. It literally ran over me like hot oil, and it was so strong, and it was so powerful. It was like I was saturated. But I felt refreshed. I don't know. You're free. It's the best feeling ever. Because he's no respecter of person, what he has done for us, he can and he will do for you and he'll shift every part of your life to a place of newness.